Months after 10 investigates uncovered inmates taking part in the nationwide robocall problem, the head of the Department of Corrections still doesn't want to talk about it. But that hasn't stopped 10 investigates Jennifer Titus from working to help you. Instead, she's found a way for you to fight back against those robocallers and stop the calls. Millions of robocalls a day bugging the heck out of con Hold on a second. Yeah, that's definitely not getting answered. And when we found out that Florida inmates were taking part in these calls, we wanted answers. One of you guys that would sit down with us. We've tried for months to get the head of the Department of Corrections to talk to us. We sat outside his office and called and emailed him regularly for months. In their most recent response, his communication staff wrote us in an email. We are declining the opportunity to do an interview for this story. It is not subject to availability. While they're refusing to tell us what they are doing to crack down on these calls, I've learned you can crack down yourself. One Floridian did just that, and he's made thousands of dollars doing it. This is my first one. This is 3000 Adam Ward is making money. Lots of it. He's paid off his credit cards. Next purchase, either something sportier. And is already making plans for his next big purchase. I want to get a new car for a while. And it may be coming sooner rather than later. I should be settling another uh, this week for between eight and ten. So eight and ten thousand. So twenty two thousand dollars. Yep. All because you were had enough with these robocallers. Had enough. Had enough. Wanted to uh, wanted to make them rethink it. Wanted to hit him in the wallet. Make them make them pay. Make them pay. Let's rewind that. It wanted to hit him in the wallet, make him, make him pay. I'm yep, you heard that right. Them, believe it or not, are those companies behind some of those unwanted calls to your phone. The Telephone Consumer Protection Act of 1991 allows penalties each time a company violates the National Do Not Call Registry, uses automatic dialing systems or pre-recorded messages in an illegal manner. The federal government uses the law to target harassing telemarketers in rare cases. But more importantly, the TCPA allows citizens to file lawsuits against telemarketers who may make tens of thousands of automated calls on any given day. It's just such an annoyance. And this is where Doc Compton comes in. But the easiest thing is to just go to the website, robocalls.cash. That's where you will find the turning robocalls into cash kit. It costs $47 and includes a sample demand letter you send to the companies calling you letting them know that they are breaking the law. Essentially, you have to take the call. You have to talk to the caller, get them to give you a little bit of information. The types of information that you're gonna try and get out of the caller varies depending on the types of calls that you're getting, uh, who it is that's calling, when they're calling, and so on. And from there, use the template demand letters that we provide in the kit. It's basically fill in the blank, send it off, and believe it or not, these guys wanna negotiate. They don't want to go to court. 10 investigates uncovered consumers across the country cashing in. Just like Adam did. One day I just checked my email and I had a, an email from a lawyer for this one company um, saying that they, yeah, well, we'll give you a thousand bucks. It was, I mean, basically they were, we got your letter. We deny everything you said, but we're willing to give you a thousand bucks to settle this. And I was like, oh, it's game on. His first settlement ended with him receiving $3,000. What kind of company was the $3,000? An extended warranty auto company. So the ex the ones that always call it the, the majority of them are. Yeah, it's mostly insurance, mostly um, insurance. It's a lot of auto insurance, primarily extended warranty. He sent that first letter just last year. And how much money have you made total now? Uh, 22,500. Adam says even though the state and federal governments are working to crack down on robocalls, it's still not enough. My phone number's been registered with the NDNC since 2005. So in the meantime, he's fighting the calls on his own. The simple fact that you didn't, you know, scrub my number against the national do not call registry alone is $1,500 per call. What do you hope comes out of all this? I want everybody to be able to answer their phone and not have to silence every other call. Uh, because it's somebody trying to sell them an auto warranty or health insurance or, you know, mortgage refinance or, or whatever it is. Uh, that's the big picture for me. And I have a lot of people ask me, you know, if this works, aren't they eventually going to stop calling? And the answer is yes. And remember, those companies calling you from overseas, their total scams, yeah, those won't pay out. 
Adam says that he doesn't always get lucky, but I'd say he's been lucky enough. What do you guys think? Five hundred sounds like he's doing what he can to stop those annoying robocalls. Let's take a deeper dive into what 10 investigates has uncovered in their investigative series. Stop the calls. Uh, they uncovered more than two dozen work release inmates working in Tampa Bay area call centers. After reaching out to the Department of Corrections, the DOC pulled those inmates from the call centers for a short time to investigate, but they refused to speak to 10 investigates. And the Department of Agriculture, who oversees telemarketer licenses, told our team that they were not aware that inmates were working in these positions. You can see our full investigation and find out how you can fight back and maybe even cash in at 10 slash robocalls.